Hello guys, I'm DJ Mikey with GaudyDJ.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom gobo using free software called GIMP. These are slightly more advanced techniques than my previous video. If you'd like to take a look at a beginner's video using GIMP software, please check out the links below. Anyway, if you are looking for the more advanced techniques and you still have the Chevet Gobo Zoom 2.0, your settings and your print settings will be 29 millimeters by 29 millimeters. If you're using the Easy Gobo, you'll need to change those image settings to 26 millimeters by 26 millimeters. And we'll be going over that again once we are done making this particular Gobo. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. First, we're going to go up here to File, New. In this particular case, I've chosen to go 475 pixels by 475 pixels. We're going to enlarge this screen. And we're going to start off by selecting the Ellipse Select tool. Start up here in the corner, drag it all the way down. And now we've made a circle. We're going to select the bucket fill tool and we're going to fill the circle in black. Now previously I've already made this image, this R, and I'm going to click on it and then select on my keyboard, I'm going to hit Control C. That'll copy the image. Now I'm going to go back to my newest image here and I'm going to hit Control V. And that will paste this R that I've made. We could probably stop here, but my client really wants a date. So let's go ahead and change the color to white. And let's go ahead and put it right here. Oops. I'm going to highlight the text, I'm going to click bold, and then I'm going to scale this down because that is much larger than what I wanted. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to file, I'm going to select print. I'm going to go find a printer. I'm going to select preferences. And I'm going to set the highest possible resolution. Click OK. Then I'm going to click apply. Now up here is this image settings that I was talking about. I'm going to change this for the easy gobo to 26 millimeters. So 26.00, it should automatically change the height to 26.00 as well. Now if you're using the LED Gobo Zoom 2.0, you will want to change the size to 29 millimeters by 29 millimeters. Then you're going to hit print. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you've learned something today and this was helpful. Do check out GaudyDJ.com. There should be a lot of DJs listed there throughout the United States, some other professionals. And if you are a DJ, feel free to send GaudyDJ.com your contact information. Have a great day. Bye-bye.